Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So the patrons decided to do a close-up flower painting and uh, so I decided to do a paint a, a hibiscus. And uh, But before we get started, I want to do a giveaway. I know I announced it to the patrons. And so I got here a box with uh, the patrons who, who support my uh, work and this YouTube channel. Thank you, by the way, guys, so much. And in return, I uh, have their names here and the winner will receive a painted greeting card. So this is a paint, uh, my first greeting card that I ever uh, painted. So uh, it's varnished and it's ready to go. And um, right here you could see, um, and then you can, you know, write a love note or thank you or whatever. And then you just put it in the envelope and ship it to your loved ones. And um, so the winner of the drawing will will receive this original painting. And uh, these are all the patrons that have been helping me and supporting me. And uh, I'm gonna draw, I'm not looking, so I don't know which one or who will win. But the, the winner is, the winner is right here, Kristen. Thank you so much for your support. I will message you and thank you again for all your support. You will receive this original painted greeting card. I'm excited. And uh, if you guys would like to also be a part of the Patreons and support my uh, page here and, uh, and my work, what I do here and want to give some tips or ideas, please check out my Patreon page down below. There's a link and uh, you'll, you'll see all the stuff that I do there. I do every now and then giveaways and, and I'm more on there uh, answering questions and things like that. So be sure to check that out. But right now, let's get to it. Let's uh, mix some color and start with our flower painting. All right, let's go over the materials needed for today. Uh, we need naphtho red light. We need carbon black. We need cadmium yellow medium hue. And last but not least, titanium white. For the brushes, we need the number two round goat uh, mop brush. And then some of these artist love brushes, uh, half an inch and then number two. It comes in packs, so it comes like with uh, like 15 to 20 different kind of size of brushes. You can get them at Michael's. But uh, I just choose out the uh, some of them from that pack. And then uh, you need the double zero detail brush for the details and any flat half an inch brush. And we will go ahead and start mixing our paints. All right, here's my palette um, and the palette knife. And we're gonna mix, this is red and a little bit of yellow. We're gonna mix that first, and then we're gonna mix just this red and white. And we just have white here. And what we're gonna do is mix our darkest first, and it's still gonna be pretty red, but uh, not too, not too, it, you know, it'll be like a super dark orange color, I guess, adding a little bit of that yellow. It makes the red more glowy. Um, but you can totally just use the red out of your tube but I like that glow when adding a little bit of yellow. And then our next one, we're gonna make this one uh, pink. So we're gonna make it pink. And this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And I, I'm using my old canvas. I, I kind of did this background uh, really quickly and I left it there for a while and then never really got back to it. So, uh, but you could use a blank white canvas or uh, paint something in the background, whatever you want. Um, any kind of uh, shade of color. Uh, I chose this dark, uh, well, I had this canvas already painted, so I found it and I thought it'd be, be kind of cool to add this pink flower onto my canvas here. Um, and so we're mixing this and we're getting this pink color right here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of more white here because I don't want it to uh, be too dark. So I want it to be a little lighter. And what I'll do is actually, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this color and bring it to my white right here. And um, that will be my lighter pink. 
And I have my three shades for the flower. And we'll start with that and then, um, you know, we'll get our shape of the flower first down and then go over with details, okay? So here you have it right here. Three different shades and we're gonna start shape, adding shapes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my half an inch flat brush. You can have, it could be any brand. I have this water jar and what I do is every time like I move my brush away, what I'm doing is I'm dabbing my brush lightly in the water a little bit and then, you know, squeezing it out. So it'll be damp and, and wet. Um, it runs smoother on, on the canvas because acrylic dries fast and water kind of, I use water uh, to add to my acrylics because it helps from, from that, from not drying too fast. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, as you can see, a little bit of water right there um, because I dab my brush. I'm gonna grab this pink and the slightest pink and we're gonna create shapes first. What I'm gonna do is, let's see, um, I'm gonna have it pretty big because that's what the patrons wanted. So I'll add, I'll add my first leaf, let's say. I'll add it right about, right about there. And what the shape will go, you know, I'm, I'm using a photo reference because I don't, you know, really paint flowers. So um, this was, this is something new to me as well. I mean, I, I do, I used to paint flowers, um, but um, I, I haven't done that lately. So um, this is, this will be a little bit of a challenge for me as well, um, but a good challenge. So I got my, and then I'm gonna create this shape first. It goes around. As you could see, I am drawing the shape of, and I'm going slowly because I'm kind of looking at the reference photo um, and of, a, of this flower. And that's how I do it. I look at the photo um, and draw it, but also I'm, um, you know, creating it all in my, like in my own style. So what I'm doing is I'm first outlining, kind of, you know, it could be a little bigger or smaller on the picture, it doesn't matter. I'm creating the shape that I want it to look like. Um, I'm just grabbing the idea from the, um, from this reference photo so that I won't get this hibiscus wrong. You know, I can go live and paint out in the nature and paint my, um, Hibiscus do the same thing looking at it and painting it. It's the same thing so Having a reference photo is pretty much the same thing as looking uh, at something live, I mean I, For me it is you know Okay, so now I'm drawing my second leaf and I'll draw it right about there. I'm gonna twist it And Let's go and have a little bump here and I'm gonna draw it like this. There. And now the second one, or I mean the third one, will go up and Fourth one, it starts about right there, and it kind of goes down.
So now that we have our shape, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this um, also half an inch artist slot brush. It's pretty much the same thing. You don't need to uh, change your brush, um, but this is not as flat and uh, it's a little more rough uh, because it's uh, cheaper. But I'm gonna dab my brush and uh, grab. Now I'm gonna create some, some like shadows and stuff. So I'm gonna start from here and this will be um, darker pink. So I'm gonna grab my red here and I'm gonna go ahead and draw it right here on the bottom. Right, like this. And just bring it up. Um, bring it up, but as you go up, um, you want to make it lighter. So then grab your third color and add it right next to. And then we'll add our final lightest color right here on the tip. And just add it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect yet. We're just uh, creating, you know, um, just covering it and getting the, the basic down, the shadows and stuff. So now I'm gonna create a little more, some of these lines kind of going down with red. Do the same thing, grab my red and do the same idea, but start with the red. This will be your, actually, you know what I'll do is that's where the black will come in. I want the, the, the middle, the inside to be a little darker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this carbon black, dab my brush in the water. I don't need to clean my brush. I'm just grab a little bit of this black and start it from right here in the bottom. Um, right here and then just draw it out um, and about right there and then as you go up it'll be more uh, red so I'm gonna clean my brush now in the water jar and then take the black away from my brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the red color again and add it to my black Then I'm gonna grab my second color and add it right underneath. Just like that, and then this one as well. I'm gonna clean my brush, and then go with my lightest color. This lightest color, this light pink, and then add it right next to right next to here on the bottom. And I'm kind of creating, you know, remember to create, um, go with the flow of where your your um, flower, your leaf is sticking out. Let's, for example, this is kind of coming at you like this. It's like coming at you. So you make a like little, uh, you know, lines coming at you like the shadows, as you could see. See, this one's coming out that way. And so I'm adding, I'm going that direction, you know, um, so uh, remember to do that. This one is going this way, so I'm kind of um, creating that shape with my colors when I add layers. 
And this one's going this way, so I will do it like this. And then this one is going here. See what I'm doing? And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my red and create some shadows on this side. So I'm gonna add this red right about here. Just on one side of the uh, leaf. And then this, I'm gonna create some red going down, kind of what I did here, maybe like this. And then with my red, again, just the red, I'm gonna create a darker shadow here. Going up to right about there. Maybe one here. And then this one will have it right about inside right here. And then also some here. And I'm gonna grab my second shade and randomly add it randomly just on the empty spaces. So maybe right there. And then my lightest color, I'm gonna clean my brush. And then my lightest color, I'm gonna add the rest on these tips. Just cover the rest, the empty spaces. And this is our first layer, so just remember that. Um, don't be afraid to add, um, you know, your your paint. Don't be afraid to add because um, each layer bring, makes brings out the painting more to life. So I always say that, um, and I want you to keep that in mind that adding layers is important. And not to be afraid is very important too in making something new. Because I'm learning as well. As I'm painting, I'm learning as well. Like this is my first actually uh, hibiscus I'm painting. I never painted it before. So I, I I really don't know how it'll turn out. Um, so bear with me as well. And so now what I'd like to do is, remember that fluffy brush I told you about? You see, it's kind of rough, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our fluffy brush and dab it like lightly in the water jar, like lightly like a little bit of it, right? Squeeze it out so it'll be a little wet, not too much. You know, I use my hand or a paper towel to kind of like get most of it off and it's still a little wet, but not too much. And then I just uh, start from here and um, I swirl, swirl it. So what it does is it kind of blends everything nicely um, together so it won't be so rough looking. there. I forgot to add some here. Right about there. And 
And so just blend it in. And if you need to add a little bit of more, um, go ahead and do so. And you don't need to blend it. Like if you like it the way yours looks, great. You don't need to blend it. Um, so stuff like this, I'll show you an example. Stuff like this, see, I, I kind of smeared it here. I can make it the leaf a little longer and connect it, but I don't want to. So what I do is I use a paper towel and just water and just clean it out like this, see? It's like an eraser. Water is so cool. It's like an eraser. Right there. Water and a paper towel, there you go. So we got our first layout right there. And um, now we're gonna start, start adding more details on it. All right, so now I'm gonna grab just titanium white. I made two of them. And I'm gonna grab this black right here, mix it with this yellow. And uh, I'm gonna draw a little, a little something special. All right, so I'm gonna grab my half an inch brush, this one and uh, the flat one. And I'm gonna grab this color, this green color, and then I'm gonna add um, the the little uh, what is it called you know what it's called this green thingy that makes the leaf grow I'm gonna grab it and drag it down all the way right there and then I'm just gonna grab white um, and just grab white and then draw it right along the edge And of course you can make it straighter. And I'm gonna draw this a little darker on this edge, just black, I'm gonna grab just black. And on this side, I'm gonna draw black. And then what I do is I'm gonna grab my um, half an inch artist lot brush and just with a yellow and water, once this almost dries, sometimes it's nice to have this dry and then overlap it. So I let it dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna grab yellow and lightly with water and yellow, add my highlights. You could see it starts to come out to life. That's what we want right there. Okay, and then um, of course, I wanna make this a little darker here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is grab my black, just black, and then create, while it's still wet, create this shadow right there. Sometimes using your finger helps. Right there. And you know, of course you can go as detailed as you want. Alrighty, now we can put it back where it's, it was sitting and continue on with adding details to our flower. So now I'm gonna grab my double round sewer detail brush, dab it in the water, and just use this titanium white and water. Okay, it's like almost like watercolor. Um, we're just adding a bunch of water. I'm dabbing in the, my brush in the water and grabbing this titanium white. And what I'm gonna do around the edges, I'm gonna actually, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is around these edges, I'm gonna add white and create my um, add more details onto my leaf here. If it's too wet, then make sure you 
um, dry your brush not to grab too too much water because sometimes it it starts to um, you could see it starts to kind of be transparent I don't want that so um, and outline your um, you know flower shapes just go over your leaves and Outline them with white. Like that. And then this side. All right. And then what we're going to do now is create a line going down. there start draw start drawing these um, highlights. Focusing on adding the details. Lightly with water, just start adding these lines. Remember, follow your your uh, pattern of the you know the flower. As you can see, I randomly added my white highlights there on my first flower. And go ahead, start adding my highlights on my second. And here, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and let this go in and draw big, shadow here that's going up like this.
Now I'm gonna grab my flat brush, Artist Loft, and just with white, I'm gonna go ahead and add just white. Go over these white and uh, working transparent and just kind of like adding on some areas just white uh, what it does is it it adds like these nice uh, highlights you know on some uh, on one edge of the flower and just blend that in just on one edge you could touch a little bit on the other ones because we don't want it to look too sharp you know what I mean that and then this side will be right here we're gonna add a little more white and I'm working with just with water and white Here, I'm gonna add some white right about there, lightly. Grab more white and water. It just takes away a little bit of that sharpness that we have, that we added. That's what it does. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And this side, I'm gonna add more white here. go I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna clean my brush and grab just my red red and water and work transparent what I'm gonna do is add it on here on the bottom and drag it up and just add some red some areas that will make your painting stand out And just blend it in, fade it out, you know, make it smooth, as smooth as you want. Okay, now what I got is ye uh, yellow and just red and a little bit of um, red. I'm gonna draw that in or blend it in. 
And we're gonna use this color for something special. And just yellow. And so what I'm gonna do is grab my half an inch brush, clean it out, and grab this color. And then let's add a little, uh, little flowery thing in the middle. I'm gonna go up and add it right about this high, like this. Right about there. It's gonna be about this big. I'm gonna grab some black. Just pure black and use the same brush and on on this side, kinda how we did right here, same technique. Add black here going all the way down. There you go. Add more black on the bottom. Right about there. And on the other side, we're gonna add white. White and, so I'm gonna clean my brush. And we're gonna add a little bit of uh, yellow and white. So just grab yellow and a little bit of white and draw on this side. There you go, just like that. And then we're gonna start adding little thingies. So with just black, Gonna get our detail brush and water, black and water. And I'm gonna start adding these little thingies. Um, and just randomly add them everywhere. And it could go um, to about, I would say, this is good enough, about maybe a few more here. About right there, there you go. And now we're gonna add little, little flowers now. And what we're gonna do is grab our yellow, just pure yellow, and add these little circles. They don't have to be perfect. Some could be small, some could be big, you know. It's whatever you want. Whatever you want. Right about there. I would call that good. And then maybe add a little bigger one here. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is grab titanium white and just on the tip, add some white. we're gonna add little red ones. 
because it's fun. Variety is fun. So we're going to grab this red one here and just add a little bigger. So we're going to add a few little bigger ones. Right about there. Maybe one right here. There you go. And then grab white and maybe outline them just slightly. And then grab black. Right about there. Okay, here it is, our little thingy here, interesting thingy, right about there. Okay, and to make some of these flowers stand out, I want to outline with a little bit of black and, and water, and just outline and make like a few, oops, that's too much water. Make sure you don't have too much water and lightly outline some of these beautiful flowers. Okay. Just outline them with black. They'll stand out more. You know, like I like things that stand out. Just like that. There you go. And maybe even these, these ones as well, lightly, these bigger ones. All right, and here you have it. Of course, I can go back and add more details and you can add de as much as you want details, but I got my sketch down and my layout and then, yeah, and I hope this helped you guys out. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comment and uh, thanks again for watching and tuning in. Take care and see you guys next time. God bless.